Hi, this is Nikki and I'm just back with part two of today's message. And so I was just saying that I was drawn to pull some guidance cards from the Native Spirit deck um, today. And it they, this deck is by Denise Lin. And so um, on their side, on our Divine Counterparts side, was the Ancient Forest, which is, again, so lovely because it is all based around, the crystal grid that I do is all based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. The guidance for us was from the ancestors. And I've been saying recently about, it's not only about releasing um, energies that you collected down your ancestral line, but also it's about tapping into the energy of what you need to help you in this lifetime that you've collected over that ancestral lifetime as well. Because we can all recall and bring to this life things, you know, skills from past lives. So this is why, again, it was perfect because I also took the crystals for the crystal grid to the Stonehenge at the summer solstice this year. So it was so lovely that they get the, the, the forest card and we get the stone circle, which is just beautiful. And then the crowning energy was this card, which was the great mystery, which is also the Northern Lights. And that came up for us in the energy read this week, which is the Northern Lights is about looking uh, for signs that the universe want to bring you. Which is again why I'm kind of like, it's just so lovely. So the guidance for the divine counterparts is this, which is the ancient forest. So um, one second, let me read it out for you. So your roots go deep, incredible, radiant, healing strength is available to you and grows within you. Do not doubt your abilities. You're so much more than you can possibly imagine. There's immense, unseen, but very real support around you. You are loved and cherished. You are grounded, stable and strong as your spirit reaches high into the heavens. Your native spirit wants you to know. Throughout the world, those in indigenous cultures revere what are called the tree people. The powerful life force of trees can bring healing, strengthening and grounding energies. The kind of tree might vary from culture to culture, but the reverence and gratitude for its beneficial energies are the same. The ancient forest is alive with nature spirits. Additionally, each trait has an individual spirit especially powerful and resilient. The forest can survive the harshest conditions because of the mutual support of the spirit of the entire forest. Your greatest strength is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. Inner power is found through contemplation, reflection and meditation. Sometimes it comes from times of growth and change, but oftentimes it springs from surviving and conquering painful situations. The journey for you would be to adopt a tree. <laughs> it can be one in your yard or one in a nearby park or wilderness area. Talk to the tree, touch its bark, give thanks and by doing so, you create an energy connection that will continue to nurture you, no matter how far you are away from your adopted tree. Well, you know what? That's why this is so lovely, because, you know, I the forest lovers are at the heart of the crystal grid I do. And we are all entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. Which is why they're getting this card and this guidance for them on the divine counterpart side is so lovely. On our side, it is the ancestors. So, wisdom is blossoming. Even if there are unsettling situations in your life, there's a reason for it, and much good will occur as a result. Your ancestors are sending you incredible support to fulfill your dreams. Be aware of the coincidences, signs, and synchronicities around you. Watch for messages from your forebearers. No matter what's occurring on the surface of your life, your prayers are being answered in mysterious ways beyond your awareness. Your natured spirit wants you to know there's wisdom that dwells deep within your cells. There are spiritual requests from your ancestors. This wisdom has come not only from your forebearers' joyous, carefree times. It has also bloomed from their failures, deflated dreams and seemingly wrong turns in life. Part of their message to you is to cherish every experience. 
for all of it will deepen your wisdom, compassion and understanding as it did theirs. Also, know that there's an innate wisdom within you, always. It's simply a matter of turning within in order to access it. Native people always call on their ancestors for support. To ask for their help is to walk the native path. Sometimes you may be so focused on what's outside of you that you forget that wisdom is available to you from the spirit of your ancestors. Be willing to ask, for they want to support you. And the journey for you is to imagine that you're travelling back in time to communicate and connect with the gathering of your ancestors. On this meditation journey, there might be one or two particular forebearers who seem to reach out to you. At different times in your life, different predecessors will be sending you support. Give thanks for their support. The more gratitude you have for their help, the more they send you blessings and guidance. And this is why at the moment it's all of, I just feel this overwhelming thing of like being really reflective of the whole journey and really grateful for everything. Um, because even though along the path I could never have dreamt in my wildest dreams that this is what would happen. And even though at the time things have been challenging along the way, I can reflect on it and be nostalgic about it and really reflect on all of the things and how much it's changed my life, right? And I'm sure the same for all of us. And so the overarching, and this is so lovely because A, it's the Northern Lights for a start, which I love, but also the great mystery is have faith and know that you're divinely guided even when you have doubts. Trust that you're exactly where you need to be and believe. You've planted your seeds, now allow the Creator to do the rest. Even if you can't see into the future, have faith that the path will be illuminated and go forward. If you have any recurring challenges, turn them over to the Creator. Not my will, but thy will be done. Your native spirit wants you to know, many native cultures refer to the Creator as the Great Mystery. It's the idea that Great Spirit is so vast and profound that in many ways it's unknowable. Faith is the foundation of the ability to manifest. Everything was created because someone believed that it was possible. And patience is absolutely crucial in the application of this principle. Trust. Change can happen in a heartbeat, but some things require time. You've planted the seeds, now give them time to grow. So please be patient and know that it will happen. Whatever receives your care and attention will flourish. And the journey is this. If you just planted some seeds in your garden today, you wouldn't go out tomorrow and yell at them because there wasn't any fruit yet. So don't dig up your seeds of faith. Remember this mantra. It is happening. It's happening. Repeat this phrase periodically, especially if you have doubts, and keep on going. So, how lovely is that? Because the guidance from, I was just really drawn to this today, and it makes so much sense about, you know, really recalling, you know, using the wisdom of the trees, but recalling all of the ancestral goodness that we need to remember to help us because we are on our path to really fulfilling our divine destiny. So the great mystery of life is, is to really give in to life and to give in to that life's force energy and to really just trust that wherever it takes us, it's the greatest mystery and our twin is our greatest adventure. And so what I want to share as well is I'm just going to read a letter from the book and it's going to be letter number 76. Um, just following on from yesterday because I said that Emily, Twins in Union, um, her, she uses the Divine Letters book at the end of her readings and she used letter number 76. And then I had an email from the lady who actually, it was that letter, <laughs> which is again so lovely. So letter number 76, and this is book, I'm going to read it from book two. And so this is what, I, and again, you'll see because it's quite amazing. So letter 76 says, My divine being of light, the one that completes my soul and enlightens me. There is not a second that goes by where I do not cry out to be with you again. 
I want to reach out and touch you so you know I am always here so that you don't suffer thinking I'm not thinking about you or wanting for our future to be together. I want it every bit as much as you. Please know that this is our truth. We have made this life pact together and now is our chance to fulfil it. No more looking back in anger, only looking forward in love. True, true love will win. Oh, well, you know what? Again, this is just, to, you know, it just blows me away because the message today is all about saying look back with nostalgia on your journey. And the fact that this reference is don't look back in anger. The song that came through when I was doing the third book was Wonderwall, which is basically by the band Oasis. And don't look back in anger.